So in this video, I'm gonna give you five easy steps and tips that you can apply to your Google My Business profile to help you get more visitors, more traffic, and more customers to your business. Let's go. Step one is the most important one of all, the foundational one, and that's keyword research. A big mistake that so many small business owners make is that they just type random words into their profile. They don't do any keyword research. It's a big mistake because the thing is there's five billion searches every day on Google, people searching all kinds of stuff, but we need to know what are the keywords that people are actually searching for because if you put the wrong words in there and people type different words, they're never gonna find you. So let's dive into how we do keywords research the simple way. There are lots of ways that you can do keyword research and keyword research is all about finding the keywords that have a high search volume. A lot of people are searching for them but low difficulty, meaning that if you start using those keywords, you can start showing up in the results. You can use ChatGPT, you can find other ones on Google. I'm, my favorite one is the keyword magic tool inside SEMrush. So when you go into SEMrush, we've got a link down below, you can get 14 days of free access to this tool if you're interested. And uh, you go to the keyword magic tool and you type in the keyword, for example, I've typed in candles here. If I'm a business that's selling candles, and what you'll see here is Yankee Candle, I'm looking in the United States right now, has 300,000 searches every month but a very hard difficulty. So if I'm selling these types of candles, that's not the phrase for me. That's not the golden opportunity for me to put into my Google My Business profile. I need to go through and find something that's gonna be a bit easier. So for example here, birthday candles, 18,000 but 22, that's easy. So if I'm making candles and I wanna talk about that in my Google My Business profile, this could be a good one to put in there. Uh, let's find one more floating candles, uh, candle making kit, candle making near me. This is a good one for if, I, if I'm selling candles and I'm a local business listing my profile on Google My Business, then that's definitely what I wanna be putting in there. And candle warmers, and you can go through. And then of course, you can do all kinds of searches and uh, filters in here. You can include keywords, exclude keywords, find just the easy ones, like from one to, let's say to 40, and apply here. And the whole goal here is to find the keywords that people are using to search for your products that you might not be using. Like if I, for example, put in here, homemade candles. It could be that not many people are searching for that, right? Like, let's have a look here. Homemade candles. Yeah, see, this is not a good phrase to put into my Google My Business profile if that's what I'm making because no one's searching for it. It's tiny search volumes and hard difficulty. So we wanna find something that is going to be a bit easier. So we just have to go through it and explore and find out what's going on there. We can also look at competitor websites and get what the keywords are that they're using as well but we can filter down here, uh, finding the easy ones. Let's say, again, one to 50, one to 50 here, and see what comes up here. Birthday candles, we can even go into one, for example, like candles near me. Oh, let's, let's have a look here, what's a bit? Hanukkah candles, Christmas candles, birthday candles, the one I looked at before. Let's see what else we've got. Tea light, let's look at tea light candles. When we go into it, we can get more information about it here as well. The whole goal here though, as I said, is to find the high volume, low difficulty. This one's got high search volume in India and US, but US is still a big one. And then we get some other suggestions here as well. So these kinds of questions as well, we can put them into our profile as well. In our Google My Business profile, there's an option where you can put Q&A. So this might be a question that we might put in there. How long do tea light candles burn? And put the answer in there as well. So keyword research is all about finding these gems and then using them into the profile. Step number two is profile optimization. Now that we know what the keywords are, a big question is, where do you put them? Where do you put them in the profile? So let's go through that now. So profile optimization is all about how do you put the right keywords and information into the profile as it appears on Google search. So here I'm looking at a particular bike store, Phoenix Cycles, and you can see the information, obviously the name, address, phone number, the reviews, the little blurb about their business, and any updates and things that, that they may have put in there show up there as well. So when you go in to edit the profile, you'll see there's a lot of options here. Let's look at the Traffic Ninjas one. You can edit the profile and you can make sure that you've got the description and the business category and all of the information there, the social profiles. You just make sure that you've got everything filled out there properly. And in your photos, that you actually include photos of your products. Let's have a look at the Phoenix Cycles example here. So let's look at the C photos. It's a picture of the store, but actually showing pictures of the products and what it's like uh, in the store or in your online store. It doesn't matter if it's an online or offline brick and mortar store or not. We just wanna make sure that we're filling all of that information, all that information out. And the services, you wanna make sure that you're filling out the services, what it is that you're doing in there. You can add some of the products in there. And as I mentioned, you can put the Q&A in there as well. If people are asking questions, you can prompt them with what the question is, like they frequently ask questions. And we can also put updates 
in there as well. And note here the ask for review button because we're gonna talk about that one in just a moment. For profile optimization, there's also this really cool tool as well inside SEMrush Local. Again, the link's down below. There's a link for a two week free trial if you wanna check that out. And when you click the map rank tracker, what that does is that searches in the area that your physical business is located or where your office is, and it will search the heat map around there. Let's have a look here to show you what I mean. You might be optimized for the keyword, for example, like bicycle store. Let's have a look here. This is the physical location of the store and it's ranked number one right now for the keyword. I'm looking for where the keyword here, yeah, ranked here for bicycle shop. Let's look at bicycle repair. It's also ranked number one right here where the shop is. But with this heat map tracker, what we can do is we can pretend that we're moving to a different area, this area over here, and we can compare the ranking. So in this case, for bicycle repair in this geographic area here of, I think it's one mile it's set to, you can change the settings of course, we can see that we're number one for each of these, which is great. But then what I want to do is extend the geographic area and see, okay, where are we not number one and who is number one and how can we go and investigate and find out what they're doing to learn from them and also then see if we can make some changes to our profile as well. But it's a really good way of doing an automatic weekly check-in of how you're ranking physically on Google Maps in the different areas. So it's an important part of your profile optimization is to see how you're actually performing right now as it looks on Google Maps. Step number three, is profile distribution. Profile distribution is all about how do you get your profile not just on Google, not just on Google My Business, but actually putting it everywhere on all of the other platforms that are out there that enable you, that allow you to put your profile there as well. So an important thing here that I just wanna highlight early on is that the name, the address, and the phone number, or the NAP as they call it, that's really important that you use the same one on all the profiles. Otherwise it's gonna create problems of thinking which one is correct. So really wanna make sure we have the same information on all the profiles. Let's get your details distributed across all of those platforms so you can reach more eyeballs and more customers. So profile distributions, how do you get your business profile to show up on other search engines and other places other than just the Google one? Like Google one's a very powerful, important one, but there are others as well. And what you can do, you can go into Google and type in free business directories and you'll find for your area where you are, free 50 business listings. I'm in Australia right now, free online directories, free online directories, free online directories, but they're the big ones, right? There's the, obviously your Facebook page, there's the Bing search engine. You can probably, if you're a physical brick and mortar business, Apple Maps, there's a few big ones out there. But a pro tip I've got here, if you've got SEMrush and I've got the link down below, if you wanna try that out with the two week free trial, inside SEMrush there's the area called SEMrush Local. And so you can go down to SEMrush Local and go into Listing Management and you can put in your business details here. Let's put in Phoenix Cycle since I've been using that as an example. And what it does, it goes and checks for you your profile and then we'll compare it to a whole bunch of other directories and tell you which ones you're in and not in. So that's a way that you can use this service actually to distribute your profile to all of those platforms in one go. As you can see here that there's some mistakes and issues here, but being Facebook, around me, Foursquare, Hot Frog, depending on the area that your business is located in, there's a, whole, there's a whole lot here. So you could go and do one by one all of these, or you can use a tool like SEMrush to continue the setup and then actually do the automatic management of distributing the information into those platforms for you automatically. Step number four, get more reviews. Getting more reviews sounds easy, but sometimes there's more to it than first appearance. So here are a few tips to help you get more reviews consistently in your business. And importantly, get your customers to mention the right keywords in the reviews as well. That's gonna help boost your profile as well. Reviews are super important and it's obvious, right? Because how often have you gone onto your smartphone and looked for a, a shop and then you look at the reviews and decide to go there or not to go there? So in this case here, Phoenix Cycles, our example store here, has 108 reviews, which is great. But when we compare that to our other competitors, it might be a lot or it might be not many. So we need to look at it in relation to our competitors and see where they're at. We wanna have more than our competitors, ideally. So a couple of tips on grabbing reviews is to automate the process. You wanna find a way that you can send an email or send a message to everyone who interacts with you or comes into your store, a way for them to do the reviews, to get the link. So previously I showed you on the screen where that button is to get that link and you wanna make sure you send that to everyone or as many people as you can. You can also phrase the question in a certain way. You can ask them to leave a review about the way that they found your experience or the way that they liked your product or the way that they enjoyed your product. Because if they can mention inside the review, the keywords that we're looking for, especially the phrases that we've done the keyword research on, that's going to be so much more powerful than them just writing something 
randomly. And the reason is when it shows up on Google here, you can see here how it highlights like bike shop, service, experience, experience. So Google highlights some of the keywords that they find are really relevant and important to the search here. I type in cycles, and so it's giving me things that will be relevant for me on that based on that search. So uh, that's the key there. Send it to as many people as you can. Just think about not that many people are gonna do the review. Out of every 100 people you invite, you might get one, two, or three people doing their review. It's a numbers game. We just need to get as many people, get that link to as many people as possible with a personal message around why they should do the review or how it's gonna help you and help your business, especially if it's a small business, to help you get ahead. And step number five, let's link this up to your website. It's great that you've got your profile all optimized and all set up now, but to really give it a bit of extra rocket fuel, an extra boost, we need to link it to something that's highly relevant to what the profile is all about. So if you have a website or a place that you can link to that's actually yours, where you can control what the experience is when people land there, that's gonna really boost your profile a lot. So ideally, we wanna link it to the homepage of your business that has a headline, a title, a meta description that talks about the same types of things that are in your profile. That's really gonna give a boost to your profile. So putting the link to your website is great, but it's good to think about where we're linking it to. It's better to link it to a website that you control rather than, for example, a social media platform or your Facebook page. So linking to a website like this is good. Ideally, what we wanna do is make sure that the page that we're linking to, that the title of the page and the meta description that's in here is highly aligned to whatever it is that our business is about. So in this case, it is Phoenix Cycles, Bike Shop, Cafe, and it says here, we offer a great range of top brand bicycle parts and accessories. So that's pretty good. We can look at what other competitors are doing. Let's type in here bike shop and just see what comes up here like this. This is your local bike shop serving this area. Call us if you need anything. We've got bicycle shops across Sydney. So see how they've got different ones. So we can look at those and see which ones are performing better. Again, through the keyword research or some of the tools that I've mentioned earlier in the video, we can identify what our competitors are doing. And if they're doing something better, then we can apply something similar to improve our profile as well. So that is how you get your Google My Business profile optimized in five steps. Let me know in the comments below. Did this help? What did you learn? What was your biggest takeaway? What other questions have you got? Type away below. I read through all the comments and I'll see you in the next video.